Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna look at save transaction save point as part of the begin trans commit and rollback series. Let us look at SQL Server transaction save point. So I have a small table called T1, has one column, it's called letter. So the first thing we do to get all this working, we have to say begin transaction. I'm then gonna insert three rows. Let's see what that looks like. And then I'm gonna set my transaction save point. Notice I'm calling it ABC. This ABC can be a string up to 32 characters in length. Now, once I set this save point, it's saved inside of that temporary data. Like this has not been committed yet because I'm inside of a transaction. So if I just want to commit right now, I would only have ABC in there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert three more rows. Notice, insert there. So if I look at, see what I have, I have A through F. Now what I can do is I can say roll back to where it was only A, B, C. And then I can commit. And that is our first example. Let's look at this second example. I have the same table, T1, just one column. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say declare save point name as a save point name. It's a var chart 32. Remember, that's the largest we can make. Now I'm going to say begin trans and then I'm going to insert and notice I'm using that save point name. And then I'm going to insert the second set. And guess what? I'm using the same name. Now on line 43, I say rollback transaction, the same name. So where do you think this goes to? That's right, it goes to line 40. It goes to the last one. If I were to call this save transaction A, this one's save transaction A, it would always go back to the last one. Let's see this thing work. So notice that when we get done with this, we're gonna have A through F in our database. Ready? Execute, three, three, select star, And there you have it. 